everyone, Lisa Gifford here with Martelli, and I am here to introduce our October special of the month, and I am so excited about it because it is featuring our newest products. Now you all are familiar with our amazing seam press. It is the, this amazing tool that we have in our toolbox, and it's perfect for pressing your seams nice and flat. So you've asked for a smaller version, so here it is. This is our Seam Press Mini, and this is gonna be one of the products that we're gonna have for our October special. The Seam Press Mini is only three and a half by five inches, and it's perfect tool to have sitting beside you when you're in your little nest beside your sewing machine and you want something a little bit smaller as you're pressing open your blocks before you take it to your large uh, ironing station. So this is the Seam Press Mini. Again, it's three and a half by five inches, and it only weighs about a half of a pound. So it's really easy to use. Another one of our newest project products is this big guy. This one is our seven by seven Martelli block press. I'm gonna show you how these are used in a moment, but this is, uh, we use this for pressing the whole block so that it's easier when you get your block all finished this works for six and a half and under or any size that you want to use, but it's perfect for those smaller blocks. You can have this set right down on top of your block and it'll make it lay nice and flat. And then our third one right here of our new products is this guy. This is our large block press. It is 13 by 13. It weighs about five pounds. It also has the comfort knob on there like all of them do, so they all look very well together and it will work for pressing your larger blocks, like 12 and a half and under, or even bigger, and I'm gonna show you how we'll be able to use that. So what is the special? What is the big bundle special that we have? Well, we have it in a couple different ways. So the bundle that we're offering for the month of October is all three pieces. Not this one, because you all have this one. You all know and love this one, so I'm gonna set that one aside. So we have all three pieces right here. So the bundle is the Seam Press Mini, the block press seven by seven, and the block press 13 by 13. So you'll be able to get all three of them for, I've got the price right here, 30% off the retail price. So retail all three of these together would retail 275. You're gonna get 30% off of all three of them. That's gonna bring it to 192.50. So if you wanted to just get one of them or maybe just a couple of them and you want to break it down you didn't want to get the entire bundle so we have a special price for you on that also you'll be able to get 20 percent off each of these items individually so what are the prices of them individually well retail the large one is 160. that's this one right here so if you want to get it for the month of october at 20 percent off it is going to be 128. this one here the seven by seven block press retails for $80, this is 80. So with the 20% off, it's gonna be 64. This one here, this mini seam press, it retails for 35. So you'll be able to get that for 20% off for $28. So you have a better savings if you get all three of them together because it's gonna save you around 27, 28 bucks. So all three of them for 192.50, and or individually you get the, that's 30 percent off or individually you can get them for 20 percent off so be sure to pick up that now i'm going to walk you over to the ironing station and i'm going to show you what the magic is all about on them so you all know about our large seam press and we usually have this one by our larger ironing ironing stations but i'm going to talk to you about each one of these tools and i'm going to show you why they're so amazing one of the features I didn't talk about is that they're made out of one inch HDPE. So they're really solid, really heavy, and well, as for heavy as per size, but they also have the browning fabric, our get a grip material that we have on the bottom, which also reflects the heat. So it's gonna trap it in. A lot of you requested to have one that was a little bit smaller than this because this takes up a lot of space. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, and you're using it for pressing your seams open or if you're just pressing open your blocks, it's just a bigger piece of equipment to have by your, your little nest is what I call it. So this is the, the half size. This is again, this is the three and a half by five inches. Weighs less, about, about a half a pound, but it, it's not about the weight. It's about what this magic does right here. 
So I got a couple of blocks that like I would have been doing some chain piecing. These are like just half square triangles that I have here. So I'm gonna show taking these little blocks right here and pressing them open and how I would use my seam press. Imagine this if I'm sitting at my little nest. So I wanted to not get up and down and go to the big ironing station, but I just wanted to work in my little area. So I'm just gonna give it a press and then I'm gonna press it back you know, to the dark side, as we're told, and then I just lay this on top of it. And I can actually move this up just a little bit. It's just lay it, it's completely covering this size block that I'm working on. So it's just gonna make that seam just lay a little bit flatter, a little bit crisper. I mean, I've tried it with different, um, you know, with and without it, and it just makes such a world of difference to have that on there because if you walk away from it for a, you know, a couple days, sometimes it, they have a tendency to curl back up or even if you're gonna be pressing your seams open. So it's just gonna be, it just does what it does. It traps that heat, reflects it back and it just sets that seam so it is nice and flat and pretty. Now I could also take it and show if I was to use this one here and I was going to say have the seams pressed open, the same thing, it's gonna kind of lay it nice and flat more so than if I was to just press it like this and didn't use the seam press on here. So if I was pressing it open and then laying this on there, same thing, it's gonna trap that heat, set it, and it will stay nice and flat whether you press the seam open or you just pressed it to the dark side. It's just gonna set that seam and it will lay nice and flat for so much longer. So that is showing it using this tool right here. This is the seam press. This is what I would have by my nest. I would have my larger one over here by my big ironing station. So I'm gonna set these aside. Now I'm gonna show you using the block press. So you've got your blocks and you've got it all finished and now you want to start pressing your blocks. So here's a couple of blocks that I have. I've got a um, quarter square and then I've got an hourglass block here. So how I would use the smaller block press, again, also made out of the one inch HDPE and it's got the get a grip and it also has the, the comfort knob on it. So I would press my block and then I would set this on top. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna make that whole block nice and crisp. So any wrinkles, any curves. So I would be using this piece right here when I'm doing the top part of my quilt block. A lot of times we have all of our seams all pressed from using our seam press or just from pressing. Now we're finishing out the block and we're wanting it to be nice and crisp so that we will start putting our blocks together to make our quilt top. So here's a couple of blocks that I would be pressing. So I would set this on here. It's gonna take everything and just make it nice and smooth and flat. And then the same thing, I would press my next one and I could, I could stack them up or I could just move this over top of it. This is the seven by seven. So it'll cover blocks that are six and a half, seven all the way down. So it's just a little bit lighter, a pound and a half but again, it will completely cover your block and it will be pressing them and making them nice and flat and crisp so that when you go to put them together in your quilt block. So that's, that's using the seven by seven. So I set that one aside and I'm gonna show you the big boy here. This is the one I was all excited about. This one is 13 by 13, also made out of the one inch HDPE, has the get a grip browning fabric that's underneath and your comfort knob right here. So it's easy to pick up and same thing, if you've got a larger block like this one right here, and this is where I've got it all sewn and I just wanna get all these extra wrinkles all out of it, so I'm gonna give it a good press. A lot of times this is where we're pressing more on the top side, getting everything all laid out nice and pretty, and then we're gonna set our block on here and it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna set that, it's gonna set it and trap that heat, set that, make that in there where it will be nice and crisp and then I can move it and press and set it down again. So it's gonna be just nice and pretty. And you'll see when I get done how, how pretty it is. Just takes a couple of seconds, but now you've got a nice, crisp, pretty block for taking it and now put it into the, all your pieces to the rest of the quilt. Here's one that I haven't used it at all. It's, um, here's a grandma's fan and it's, all wrinkly and it's kind of been shuffled around a little bit. Seams are all going in the right direction because I would have used this earlier, maybe by my nest. I might have been using it for that. But then now I've got my block all finished. I'm getting ready to move on to the next step. So I'm just gonna press it. You can even use some uh, steam on this. I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna show you. If you wanted to steam it a little bit, 
You could put a little steam on here. It's not gonna affect it, it's not gonna hurt it. Give it a little press, with or without steam. Now I'm gonna set this on here, and it fits. It's 13 by 13, so 12 and a half, 7, 13 under, it's gonna work very perfect for those different blocks. And if I had a stack of them that I was putting together, then I would just keep pressing and just stack them, press and stack. Like I got right here. So I'm gonna grab, I've got several different blocks right here. So same thing, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. I can just kind of stack them all on top of it as I'm pressing. So here is our um, survivor block. Getting it all nice and pressed. Laying it underneath, setting that down. Here's another version of the survivor. Same thing, it's just gonna make it nice and flat and it will stay nice and smooth longer. Here is one of our square dance blocks. I think this is a game changer. I think this is gonna be one of those tools that you're gonna love using because it's just gonna make everything prettier, flatter, nicer, easier to work with even when you go to put all of your pieces together and then it's just gonna make a prettier quilt at the end. So that is our seam presses. So be sure to go to martellinotions.com and pick up your bundle today for either all three of them or get them individually for 20% off or the bundle for 30% off. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.